And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, it's cool and clear start to your Monday thus far. Temperatures sitting in the mid-30s. We're at 36 degrees currently. Look at those winds as well from the north, 5 miles per hour. We're seeing that wind chill currently at that freezing mark here in Lafayette. Temperatures throughout the region around those mid to upper 30s. We're as warm as 38 degrees in Rossville, 37 Rensselaer, 35 in Fowler. Currently sitting at 32, however, as you step out the door in Crawfordsville this morning. That's also where you're seeing your coolest wind chill. Only 24 degrees with the wind chill in Crawfordsville this morning is 29 with that chill in Cocomill. Feels more like 30 degrees in Rossville as you head out the door this morning. So we have the clear skies. We have the weak northerly winds. That's all thanks to a round of high pressure centralized just west of the Great Lakes, bringing those northerly winds into our region and keeping the skies throughout much of the Midwest clear. However, we're also tracking a round of low pressure centralized over parts of Texas that will slowly make its way eastward over the next 30 or 72 hours or so. As that pushes further to the east, we'll see some cloud cover, but the rain chances should stay off to the south of us. In fact, we're looking at very dry conditions going throughout much of the week ahead. As for today, mainly sunny skies are expected the few light clouds off to the east of us. We'll see some light cirrus and uh, cumulus cloud cover development throughout the afternoon. But aside from that, we look to stay dry, mainly clear throughout the day. And all in all, a pretty nice Monday is underway already. A little bit on the cool side this morning. But check out these temperatures. 59 in West Lafayette, same story Crawfordsville. 58 in Logansport later on today before we fall off into those mid to upper 30s. Once again tonight into tomorrow morning. 39 in Delphi, 34 Winnemac. We'll drop the 35 in West Lafayette later on this evening. As for tomorrow, a few more light clouds a possibility. We'll see some light scattered cloud cover. I'd like to see significantly less cloud cover than what we'll be dealing with here on our Precision Futurecast. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, but notice off to the northwest of us, this nice defined line of cloud cover. That represents the leading edge of a cold front that'll be making its way in from the northwest by Wednesday afternoon. That'll usher in more of the upper level moisture, but we're also looking at slightly cooler temperatures as well down the line. As for tomorrow, warmer than today. 62 year high temperature for tomorrow afternoon. 61 in Fowler, 62 in Attica. We'll re even reach 64 degrees in, on Wednesday before that cold front pushes across the viewing area, briefly dropping us back into the low 60s by Thursday afternoon. Now, Friday, the mostly sunny skies do return. We'll reach a high temperature that afternoon of 67 degrees. Alex, the 70s make a return as early as Saturday. 71 year high temperature that afternoon. Partly cloudy, mostly cloudy skies, however, thanks to a moving in uh, round of low pressure. First, a warm front moves in on Sunday, bringing isolated rain chances. Then we can start talking about a cold front by next Monday, bringing scattered showers and thunderstorms back to the viewing area. But check the, those temperatures warming up from the 50s today all the way up into the 70s by this weekend. Should be a nice week as we go forward. It's good to get back into the 70s. We got a taste yep. of that just a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice to see that again towards the end of this uh, week. Certainly after last week, this past weekend, Saturday, a complete washout for the Grand Prix. Yesterday, absolutely gorgeous. And that's what we're expecting a lot of those Sunday conditions to leak over into the work week. All right, Cam, thanks yeah. so much. Coming up, the latest.